we have in this past year made great progress in ending the long era of conflict and Cold War. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. This is one of the top five conspiracies in human history. We have the Roswell incident. We have the Kennedy assassination. We have the New World Order. Um, and we have two more. I forgot, but... <laughs> this conspiracy is one that's really kind of personal touches the heart and the reason why I say this is because it has so much going for it both good and bad the good is it give us something to talk about but the bad is we got the conspiracy all wrong. We think that they're going to start the new world order. We think that they're going to create this totalitarian government, which everybody, you know, the rule of law, not the rule of the jungle, even though that's how those type of people have ran this world mm, so when a rule of a jungle benefits them it's okay but when it doesn't then they need rule of law um, I don't know how long I want to stay on this subject because it's not really too much to even talk about we can talk about this subject till it's dead we can poke it flip it turn it all around we can do all types of stuff to it but it's, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to improve on anything. I guess what I'm saying is my theory is this. The New World Order is not coming. Let me say that again. The New World Order. I don't know what type of illusion you world you live in illusionary world that you live in but the new world order it's not coming it's already here so so we're talking about the new world order um here, here here's the thing what I mean by it's already here is that when you look at it, secret societies have been running this world for the last few thousand years. If you notice, we went from a time of the law of the jungle or whatever you want to call it, 
to rulers and dynasties, you know, to kings, queens, you know, monarchs, to now presidents or pseudo elected officials. Because you really don't choose who your leader is going to be, they're already chosen. I told everybody years ago Biden was going to be president while he was under Obama because Biden was already chosen to be president. See, here's the thing. The new world order is already been going on. We got the illusion that the new world order is coming. No, it's already here. It's been here. And a new world order is using a new weapon. See, here's the thing. Our lives, since this first group of people who think of themselves as celestial dragons, who think of themselves as the, the holy ones, have been running this world behind the scenes for a few thousand years. And within that few thousand years, we have been experiments, experimentation to see what is the best way to control us without us revolting. What is the best way for us to accept control? This has been going on for thousands of years. It's not new. What's the best way for us to accept control? And like I said, that that's my theory. My theory is we're already in the new world order. It's already begun. It's already been happening. It's already been going on. All this is happening right now is an experiment. We really don't have freedom. I'm not going to go into detail or anything like that because there's only so much I can say. But what I can say is, is that if the governments wanted to stop us now, they can. See, we have the illusion of power. See, we, we they're making us think that we are a threat. We're not really a threat. They have technology that you can only dream of. We see movies of them talking about this technology. You don't even realize they already have androids walking around. They've been had androids walking around. We're talking about, oh, we see, oh, we see an Iron Man suit soon. That been done. All this has been done. The rail gun been done. Way back in the 70s, it's, it, even then it's been done. Maybe even in the 40s. It's been done. High frequency radio waves that cook the inside that cook you from inside out been done. They got that idea from Tesla when he designed a weapon that was meant to similarly do the same thing. The airplane. Why do you think that soon as Tesla died, they went into his uh, apartment that he was staying in, or hotel room that he was staying in, and basically took everything. And claimed it as government property. How the hell is somebody else's inventions is going to be government property? That should tell you right there the New World Order already existed. For the government to just step in and take somebody's property like it's theirs. So now we're going around, we're just claiming stuff. They did this. Their, their pre predecessors, which was the pilgrims. Did the same thing to the Native Americans. They just came over here and just took the land and possessed it there. Said that God willed for them to have this land. The New World Order's been existing. We got this illusion that America was created because it wanted freedom away from England. How would you want freedom when you then you turn around and enslave two other races? But you crying for freedom yourself. That's a big hypocrisy. We have to look at the facts. We can't go off emotions or feelings. We have to look at the facts. We, we know what it is. Even people like myself who love America. We know what the truth is. America has not always been perfect. America's had a history of subjugation. Of uh, subjugating other cultures and races that do not equal its own. And judging and and harassing and demonizing but what people don't understand is is that this is not just out of pure racism this was all planned the racism was planned the racism was created come on you you think 
white people just came over here and said, hey, you know what? Let's go grab some blacks and have them as slaves. No, they were taught that. The idea was given to them. And the thing is, as, as see, it, here's the thing. And this is just my personal opinion. Only somebody weak seeks power. Oh, y'all ain't hear me on that one. Only somebody weak seeks power. Because if I already have it, I don't need to seek it. If I already have strength and trust in myself and know I'm capable of myself, I don't have to seek it from somebody else. A strong-minded person, a strong-willed person don't need to have somebody that they need to rule over. Somebody that's underneath them. Because they already know who they are and they don't need to rule over people they're good enough that people want to follow them that's the difference that's what a real leader is that's what real power is when somebody wants to follow you and see these last few thousand years has been an experiment we're too busy on the train of forcing people to follow instead of being leaders in which people want to follow so we already know the new world order exists we already know the new world order is real we know this already and these world leaders they're going around and acting like the new world order is coming bush made that speech back in 91 when he was talking about the start of the gulf war why would you make a speech talking about the new world order and talking about the rule of the law of man and not the rule of the jungle right when you're going to war with somebody you're literally telling them the purpose of the war is to subjugate that's, that's basically the message you're giving across most people ah oh, no that's not what it is america doesn't do that you you got to be out your damn mind if you don't think america do the same thing as some of these other countries do we talking about how these communist countries have propaganda and stuff like America has propaganda. See, our illusion of freedom is, let me put it to you like this. My real freedom is I can say whatever I want to you. That's my real freedom because you and I are not important. But if we say something about the celestial dragons, if we say something about the elite and they don't like it, then they retaliate. So how is that freedom? I should be able to talk about whoever I want. I should be able to talk about a president if I want. If I'm not threatening their lives or causing them harm, I should be able to say wherever I want. Well, like we're going to get some examples. You have Joan Rivers, who said something about Michelle Obama, dead. Yeah, Bernie Mac, who said a joke. I guess Obama didn't like it, dead. Like I said, these are we're we're here to talk about conspiracies. Those are some serious ones. And if you even want to get more serious, you have John F. Kennedy, who not only was for civil rights, but wanted to break down and destroy and get rid of the CIA, get rid of the Federal Reserve, reveal the truth about Area 51, and the fact that aliens are real the fact that beings from other planets are real he wanted to do all that they assassinated him for it so you tell me do you really have freedom the fact that they assassinated a president live in front of your face was a message they were sending that the new world order is here to stay and it's not going anywhere and they're letting you know that if we're brave enough to assassinate a president the rest of you don't even stand a chance if you see the way that motorcade was done he was deliberately left without protection that lets you know it was an inside job we're not gonna go any further into it right now that's for another episode but for you to think that the new world order is coming no my friend it's already here 
Stop playing. This is not something that's in the process. This is something that's already been here. When, let's give you an example. Look at the Roman Empire. What did the Roman Empire create? They created a new world order in which they went around and subjugated people. You got Genghis Khan, Alexander, you got Napoleon. All these people were conquerors who was trying to take something, rule over it, and put the rule in the way they want it to. Because any rule by a new governing state is a new order. See, the thing is, these people have been working behind the scenes for the longest, speaking in the ears of what they see as great leaders. The devil's been behind the scenes the entire time. Or the not, uh, the not good spirit or whatever you want to call it. They've been behind the scenes for years working. They're, they've been in the ear of these people. Hey, attack this place. Go after this place. Destroy this place. So New World Order is not something that's new. The New World Order has already existed. It's already been going on. And the last few thousand years has been an experiment. Because at the end of the day, these people are willing to sacrifice their lives for the person or being who really runs the earth, who really owns the earth, who really runs the world. And they're willing to make the sacrifice for them. And that's how holy they are. Because they're willing to serve and worship this being. Something is of supreme power on this planet. That these people are worshiping. And getting power from. And becoming magnificent from. And they're running the world. You see what I'm saying? And, and so my theory is. Is that basically this being has been trying to get to an end point where all of society won't be ruled by force but by will they're trying to experiment and get it to mold into a place where they have a game plan in which you're willing to give yourself up you're willing to be a slave you're willing to uh be ruled because what happens well Whenever there's a peaceful society that's doing successful without these secret rulers, they destroy it. Or they introduce drugs into it and make us a ruthless society. A ruthless, crazy society. And then what they do on top of that is that they then turn around, and I kid you not, I couldn't make this up if I want to. They then turn around and basically have you destroy yourself have you lose confidence and faith in yourself by hiding your true history by hiding your true importance and make you think that you're animals you're savages and then once you get to the point where you think you're animals and savages then they tell you hey if you want to be sophisticated like us, you need us to rule over you. And then what do you do? Come save me. It's the God complex. Basically, they want to be these beings of people who basically say, hey, you need to worship me if you want to live at peace. Otherwise, I'm going to make your life miserable until you give up and worship me for peace like I said these are just theories that I really believe that there is a secret society secret family that we do not yet know about that is really pulling the strings and all these other so called secret society first of all they're not a secret society if you know who they are Skull and Bones is not a secret society Illuminati, Freemasons none of these things are secret societies Right? That little group that Alex Jones took a video of. Uh, was it uh, Bavarian? Club or something like that? Ah, I forgot the name. When it was doing the rituals and stuff like that. 
they let him record that footage. You think they didn't know he was there? You think they don't have security, snipers, heat detection out in the woods that they can be able to pick this dude up? You really think they're going to go out in the woods and there's no way they're going to be able to tell if somebody's sneaking up on them in the woods? Especially somebody who's not even good at stealth. Come on, you really think they didn't know Alex Jones was there? They knew he was there. They wanted him to record that. They give you what they want to give you. That's it. No more, no less. These people have to make blood packs that if they reveal any secrets, they're dead. Right? They can do anything. They can make them have sexual relation with same sex. Like they, they can do it like this. If a woman wants to join, they probably make her have sex with several men. Right? High ranking officials. They all probably just run through her, whore her out, right? And they ain't let her get that power. They do the same thing to men. They sit there and they uh, bareback them. Several men just come and bareback them. Because they want to say, hey, you want this power? You're my, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say, bitch. I own you. And as long as you know I own you, I will allow you to get a little piece of this power that I have. A little bit of this money that I have. The real people who run the world, they literally own all the currency in the world. They own all of it. We're borrowing their money. Cause remember, before this all came, let's put it like this: Mana Musa was the richest being in history, right? Natural riches, not no made-up riches, not no riches that's not backed by anything. We're talking about real riches, right? Cause the, basically, countries only have a finite amount of wealth. The U.S. dollar is not even backed by anything anymore. And anybody who tried to get it backed by the gold standard got moved out the way. So, when we, when we look at it, we are living in a world where basically... These groups of people have owned all the currency in the world. Here's my theory. My theory is the whoever started the first bank system that basically borrowed out money on interest. So basically you're paying to borrow. You're paying to use money. Okay. And you're paying these people to use money. Okay. So say for instance, I can steal a hundred million dollars, right? I can use a hundred million dollars and borrow it out to people, right? And then I can put an interest on it. I say, hey, you want ten thousand dollars? You owe me thirteen thousand back. You're paying three thousand dollars to use the ten thousand, right? But you're so desperate for money, you're gonna do it. And then if you don't give me the amount I need back, I, since I made you write out a contract, have the right to come and take everything you own. And even if you pay that money off correctly, I will still keep it because I'll keep adding on interest. Okay, you pay her at the thirteen thousand, but you owe sixteen now because you took a long time paying back the thirteen thousand. That's how these that's how they got rich. These people who really run the earth world, they own all the currency in it already. It's already theirs. What they're doing is they're letting us borrow the money. And then we have to pay it back. We have to pay it back by buying things. We have to pay it back by paying for bills. Why do you think they don't want you going off the grid? Why do you think that it's basically illegal in certain states for you to go off the grid? Because you have to pay them their money. You're not allowed to save any money. Because at any time, even if you do save money, I can decide to just say, hey, that currency doesn't have any meaning anymore. We're going to switch to this currency instead. Because that's how powerful these people are. This new world order is not something new. It's not something that's coming. This new world order has been here for the last, what, thousand years? Maybe two thousand years? This new world order has been here. What if the new world order actually started two thousand years ago? Think about it. Just think about it. What if the symbolism for the New World Order 
was the fact that Christ came on earth and he represented the new world order for these people. Because think about it. You got the Old Testament and the New Testament. In the Old Testament, you you talk directly to God. But now all of a sudden in the New Testament, you, you can't talk directly to God because you got to go through Jesus now. So think, think about that. It's like this New World Order probably been going on for 2,000 years. And the whole purpose of the New World Order is for these people who are holy, these good people. To basically run the world how they see fit. They choose every single war that's going to happen. And how long the war is going to go on. They they choose that. We, we already know that. They choose that. Oh, I want this war to go on for six years. Make sure after six years you end that war. And these leaders will literally go to war. And after six years they just suddenly will end the war. It's I, it's crazy. So what we have ourselves here is the possibility that these people who are holy are basically. They, like I said, they're already running the world saying nothing new. They're already running it. So new world orders already begun. New world orders been going on for years, man. So, and, and, and that's the thing is that it's not something that's coming. It's something that's already here. We can't turn around and say that it doesn't exist because it does exist. We, we're literally, those who have a higher level capacity just feel like they're trapped in this world. You feel like you're trapped. You feel like you really are in a box. And no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it's going to... It's not going to work. Now, here's the thing. The reason why these world wars exist is because as long as I can't hate, have you hating each other, you, one, won't pay any attention to me and I can just walk around amongst you. Number two, weaken your own selves because you're not willing to work together to defeat me. And number three, it makes you easier to control because then... You're going to get desperate and desperate and desperate. You know, I'm tired of the wars and all this and that. And I'm going to come as the savior and be like, hey, if you want the wars to stop, give yourself unto me. And then the war stop and he's like, yay, he came and saved us. Yay, we we'll worship you. We're going, what can we give you? Your lives. If you want freedom, I mean, if you want peace. Give me your lives. And as long as your lives belong to me, I promise you to give you peace. Because as long as you're willing to think on your own, you can't have peace. You can't have freedom and peace. But you can have peace and order. Because with order comes peace. This is the mindset of these people who really run the world. And us... We're too stupid to even realize, like, hey. But then I think about it. Maybe they are right. I've been around a lot of stupid people. I've seen, oh, my goodness. I've seen a lot of stupid people. So now I'm starting to understand the reason why the rich and the powerful have their own groups in society. Because they're thinking with like-minded people. While the rest of us is out here just being stupid. It's like, you, you can, I can put the truth in your face face and you still be stupid enough not to follow it why because you think it's too much brain power to worry about something like that take the movie matrix for example right you got this high class high society people who control the matrix right the architect and the uh oracle and all them along with the agents they control this system that you're in now the free thinkers the ones who are strong enough have strong will those are the ones like you know those aboard the nebuchadnezzar uh morpheus neo trinity and uh you know all of them cypher however is like the weak-minded person it's like you know there's a secret out there 
you know there's a bitter world out there. You know you got problems and issues and you know you know you live in an illusion. But because you can't handle the truth about your own reality, and because you're too lazy to, because it's like I don't want to worry about that. You rather jack back into the system and forget the fact you ever knew the truth because as long as you jacked in the system you feel good being in this illusion because it makes you feel good about yourself rather than fight and face the truth because it's like hey if i fight and face the truth I'm gonna end up dead anyways that movie represents the new world order that already exists and the new world order has agents that will keep you which is basically the government they basically keep you in line if you get out of line. Let's send in the police. That's who the agents are. Let's send in the police. You got a lot of states where the police is being used as the personal army of some politicians. Why are you arresting four-year-olds? Why are you doing illegal raids on certain people's houses? Why is it that when people try to speak the truth or try to you know, say that people are doing bad things. You're you're camping outside their house or their apartment and stuff like that. That's because you're already in the new world order. If you was not in a new world order, none of this stuff would be happening. Nobody would be getting away with this stuff. So here's the thing. You cannot claim something is a conspiracy when it's a well-known fact New World Order is not a conspiracy. New World Order is already going on. It already exists. It started thousands of years ago. And basically, it's going to take approximately 2,000 years to build this New World Order into a society where it's under a totalitarian government. Now, let me tell you how some things connect. Like I said, it's just a theory. It says in certain circles in Christianity that Christ is supposed to come back and reign for a thousand years, right? Over the earth for a thousand years. What does that sound like? Reigning over the earth for a thousand years. It could be connected. It could be symbolic. But just think about it. And I want you to think about it hard because at the end of the day, they're watching you. 